Welcome back to It's Tool Thing. Today with another quick tool haul video. I just uh, picked up two more ratchets. Like I need another ratchet. But uh, at any rate. I picked up this uh, 3H drive. It's in uh, really good condition. 3H drive, uh, extra long I believe they call it. Uh, FLF80A. Uh, this one here, I don't know if you can see that there. But it's a USA stamped on the shank here um i uh, i was actually this is the one ratchet i was kind of short on still so i'm really happy i picked that up uh, this one's actually going to go into the into the toolbox in the shop and i think i'm gonna move this one out here to the shop truck uh same unit but with the handle so you can see that handle adds a good oh probably two inches or so the overall length which is kind of handy sometimes but what i've decided is i'm gonna for the most part and you know there would be a few exceptions is i'm gonna put the handle models out in the shop truck since in the winter it's uh it's nice to have a a soft grip where you're not grabbing hold of the metal as much as possible so i decided to go ahead and do that for now but i picked this one up for 80 bucks uh, i actually purchased both these items at the same place here and then I picked up another one of these quarter drive flex head extra extra long part number TLLF72 uh, USA stamped again on the ring here also in uh, very good condition obviously just the regular handle um, I already have this exact ratchet with the steel handle but I think I'm going to put this one out in the shop truck. Uh, like I said, the exception that proves the rule. Uh, and then I'll have the matching one in quarter drive uh, in the toolbox. Leave these at in quarter drive. And then I've got this one, which I've got exact the twins in these also. They're actually even orange, the same orange handle, but the uh, 3 8 adapted quarter drive. Getting converted to uh, 3 8 on the anvil here. Um... So I've got one of these in the shop and then one of these in the shop truck. Um, that way it'll be easy identifiable when I go to grab them out of the toolboxes. Um, like I said, for the most part, I'm going to try to use the comfort grips out in the shop truck with this one. And then I, uh, that Roto style, excuse me, not Roto. Um, you know what they call the. Not the roto head, but the one that goes in this direction. That's actually got a comfort grip. I'm going to keep that one in the... That's the newer one in the shop. And then put my older one probably out here. Um, which I hear that older one, if I break it, I can't get it warrantied. So... <clears throat> I also picked this one up for $80. Um, both of those I thought was a good price. Maybe not the best price, but uh, definitely competitive on the used market, I would say. Especially in the condition these are in. Um nice and clean there is a little bit of use on it but i mean overall both of these units look like they're um, lightly used at best which is ideal because i've seen some of them where they want you know more money one over 100 110 115 bucks or more and they're they're beat um, in fact it was one of these i was looking at those beat and i i left it sit there i was glad i found this one instead uh here's a little side note though kind of side length comparisons here just between the comfort grip and the non comfort grip handles Let's see if these all show up on I got the heads roughly at the same place but you can see this quarter drive without the comfort grip is a little bit shorter but not much maybe an inch and then again maybe an inch up to the comfort grip the converted 3 8 and then maybe an inch and a half or so on this one here do the regular 3 8 with the comfort grip uh, I really do like these and highly recommend people go ahead and make these you just gotta be a little careful um, but they fit into some pretty tight places even though they've got a 72 tooth mechanism they're still pretty fine but they fit the width just makes tremendous difference sometimes and that's one thing I'm, I mean, I like snap-on ratchets, obviously. 
but the heads on these snap-on ratchets have been getting a little bit wider in particular down here in this area um, and this really helps with that I mean they're still kind of roughly the same shape just scale down but when you set that on top I mean that could be the difference between getting I don't know if you can see that very well there we go um, that could be the difference between getting in there and not getting in there I've actually noticed this on Allison transmissions uh, there's a few spots where this fits and this doesn't um, it's just that little bit of difference thank you for watching please like and subscribe comment down below what's your favorite kind of ratchet have you made one of these three eighths adapted ones do you have enough ratchets to kill a horse i want to know and as always have a great day